This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, so Wednesdays, so we'll be discussing consumer and technology. And today, we'll be looking at doing research and your homework with Wikipedia. We'll be right back. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dan. Welcome back. Now, today we'll be discussing again doing your research and your homework with Wikipedia. I have with me Sandy Tate, who's the host of Tech and Social Trends on the City Breakfast Show. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Jacob. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now, tell us about Wikipedia first before we look into doing research and homework with it. Okay, so Wikipedia is an online encyclopedia. So okay. the encyclop encyclopedias as we knew them mm -hmm. in the libraries and, and hard copies. Okay, yeah. so Wikipedia is just a version of that only that it is online now. And usually, the traditional encyclopedias, you know, the editors, the people who put it together, should be experts, mm -hmm. academics, you know, something very tight and controlled. Yeah. But for Wikipedia, it's open, mm. okay? So it is written collaboratively by editors all around the globe. Wow. So it's not just some select group of people, Elites. yes, elite people sitting somewhere, giving that information out. Everybody is involved, people of all colors, sizes, races, whatnot. Once you have access to internet and you have an editing device, mm. you can join in the editing. So it's that open. Nice. So if I were to start my research and I want to go to Wikipedia, where would I begin? OK, so um, you know, when it comes to Wikipedia being online and everything, because it's been written by so many people, mm -hmm. one thing we all need to understand is every now and then it has errors here and there. Uh, there are certain biases. It's not perfect. Yeah. It's good. That I can vouch for, mm -hmm. but it's not perfect. So okay. if you want to start your research, of course, you need a topic. Yeah. What are you looking for in the first <laughs> place? But um, for demo purposes, yeah. yes, maybe we'll go to a page like um, en.wikipedia.org, which is the yeah. main page en.wikipedia.org. En That's the, the English. English. Okay. Yes. Okay. If we were talking about a can Wikipedia, it, it would be AK. Dot. Oh, AK. Yeah. Yes. French no. would be FR. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, we will be using the Wikipedia article of um, former President John Mahama to do okay. some of the demonstrations. Okay. So just make sure that, yes, thank you. It's on there now. Okay. Um, this, the field where we put the URL. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you will see that it definitely has en.wikipedia.org forward slash wiki forward slash John um, underscore Mahama. So that tells you that, yes, you are on a Wikipedia page. Okay, so um, besides that, you should also be looking at the title. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you go to a Wikipedia page, now what we're doing now is looking at the anatomy uh -huh. of what a Wikipedia page is. That's for researchers and homework doers. Okay. So we have the title, which is John Mahama there. Every Wikipedia page is supposed to have a title. Mm -hmm. I don't know one that doesn't have a title. So the title here is John Mahama. John Mahama, because okay. we are discussing or looking or researching John Mahama there. Okay. Now on that same page, you look at the right-hand side, you see something like a box mm -hmm. which has his name. Mm. Um, his date of birth. In fact, all information that you can get about him on the page, ah. you have it in that box briefly put, summarized. Okay. Sometimes you put in his um, signature. His mm. signature is at the bottom there somewhere. And so on. So very quick information about him. Okay. All in that info Wow, box. his signature is there. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if it was for some countries, you can even have snippets of their national anthem being put there in the info box. Wow. So that's what the info box on Wikipedia is for. If you are in a hurry and you just don't want to go through the entire article, the info box can give you very key things that are crucial. Maybe you just need to brush over a topic quickly mm. to go and give a presentation. You are hot. Yeah. That is, is the place where you could be looking at. Okay. Or the lead of, that's the first paragraph of the article. Okay. That's for quick um, use. Now, still, there, we have the table of contents on the left-hand side, a bunch of blue links. Mm -hmm. They can scroll 
um, down is there. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you see that early years. So if you don't career, want, you just want to skip directly yes, to something. Yes, you want you to just... look at his political appointments and so on quickly. And they are hot links. So if you should click it right now, it will take you straight to that se um, section. Wow. Okay, Those so links there, yes, that. they are hot links. So if you are in a hurry, mm -hmm. these are some of the tips and tricks you know you can use. You tap it, 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 it just jumps and it takes you there. So if you were to do a research on his time in parliament, for mm -hmm. instance, you just go to en.wikipedia.com dot org or you these days because google um displays wikipedia searches at the very top you just say john, john mahama Hama. wikipedia for and example. it will take it directly there. yes you will find the search um, results very early on in, in in the in the search page nice then you can just yes tap it and then go okay. ahead and do so um we can open a new page right now and i would just talk about something known as templates Okay, templates. For you homework doers out there. <laughs> so we'll be looking at um, a page which has to do with the 2019 Turkish offensive um, into northern... Eastern yes, Syria. Yes, northeastern Syria. Northeastern Syria, yeah. Now, there's something that homework doers and researchers don't pay attention to when they go to Wikipedia pages. And so they end up carrying all sorts of information that is not fully cooked yet. Mm. That box with the clock and the globe at the top of the Wikipedia article says, this article documents a current event. event. Uh -huh. Okay, information may change rapidly as the event progresses. Mm -hmm. The offensive is ongoing right now. Uh -huh. Yes, it's, it's a current event happening right now. So you right might now. come in at uh, two hours and it would have been changed. It would changed. have been changed. Or the one that you are looking at right now is not the updated version. Probably news is still breaking. Uh -huh. So be careful when you are using... So the, Warning goes on to say, the initial news reports may be unreliable. Hmm. The last updates to this article may not reflect the most current information. Okay. All of that is there. So these templates warn homework doers and researchers, but some people don't pay attention to it. They just go and, you know, copy. Call it a day. Call it a day and then <laughs> that's it. So we will move next to the so, article. So we should really look... Yes, look for look these for little this. boxes okay. and things that... So if the John Mahama article, for instance, had this there, then you'll be careful yes, not to just probably use something it. is ongoing with him right now. Uh -huh. And so we, the editors of Wikipedia, we are trying to let you know that, okay, this information is good, but mm -hmm. note that something is happening right now, yeah. and so you can't take this as the updated version until we remove this warning ah. from the page. Okay. So editors leave this there for people to just be warned and informed. And it's very visible. I mean, you see very before visible. you start reading the rest. Yes. So let's get into the habit yes. of reading yes. what we see at the very top. Of okay. What else? Is, so what we else also we have, have more t templates. And um, we'll look at the Wikipedia page of Azonto, for hey, example. Azonto. <laughs> yes. Now, when you move to the section known as uh, International Popularity. Okay. In this school. Yes. The section on International Popularity, there's a... Mm -hmm. Yes, so you see at the last line of that section, there is a template known as Citation Needed. Uh -huh. It's one of the most popular Wikipedia templates you can find on any Wikipedia article. Well, what does that mean? Okay, so that is to say that what you are reading there, it could be a known thing. Mm -hmm. we, all, we, all, we, we all know it's true. Yeah. We, you might have heard it on the news or whatever it is, but at this point in time, on Wikipedia, it still needs a citation to be sure. Okay. So, so you can, can take, take the it as a fact. Yes, you can take the information because mm, it looks like truth. But please note that at this moment, we've not provided you with a citation. So be careful. Wow. Okay. So when you see citation needed, don't just brush it aside. So if you're doing research on a zone tool for school, for mm -hmm. instance, this as whatever this thing wouldn't be what where the citation is needed isn't what you will quote. As, yes. as some fact that some you fact. found by a researcher yes. or something yes. like that. So just okay. be mindful of that piece of information you are okay. seeing there because it doesn't have, because it doesn't have citation there. And I think we can go back to the top of the Azonto article. Okay. Oh, there I saw, yes, there's another template there uh -huh. saying that the article possibly contains original research. Mm -hmm. You know, these kind of templates come about because the person who wrote the article knows that Az Azonto is a real thing. Yeah. But it's not that well documented, even by Ghanaians ourselves. Mm -hmm. So you can take the information there seriously, but know that there are issues A, B, and C with this article. Well, but what do they mean by possibly contains original research? Yes. You see, 
when in fact i contributed to this article when azonto came mm -hmm. it was a dance youtubers in london and went elsewhere wild. yes went wild with it but if you would ask maybe you know our, our ministry in charge of information around the country our entertainment and everything they did not have very solid references written references you know research going into this dance mm -hmm. so the only thing that people were discussing as on to like the 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 facts around it were what you were seeing on youtube mm -hmm. people making their videos people just dancing the dance challenges and everything majority of what we knew about Azonto came from the these internet. videos, ah. the internet in that way, because we, we didn't own it. And at a point in time, Nigerians were saying... They owned it. They owned it. I mean, they, they took it. Exactly. <laughs> and it played out there. There was a serious edit war. Wow. They, you, sometimes you go and it would, it would say Azonto is from Nigeria. And they have to re-edit it to its from there was a, So the article was locked for some time. Some Wikipedia pages, when you go there, there's a padlock at, at the top right. What Just does that mean? How do you lock an article if everybody's supposed to be able to freely contribute? Well, there's something called vandalism. They realized okay. that the Nigerians were just misbehaving. Ah, okay. So they just locked the article. It was temporary, though. Okay. Yes. So that is how come some of these articles end up, you know, getting locked and whatnot. So the original research bit says that it's true. Azonto is a real thing. Mm -hmm. We know it's from Ghana. But as far as the sources discussing it are concerned, we don't have that much. Just a couple of YouTube videos and people talking about it online. So know that you are dealing with a real thing. It's not a hoax, mm -hmm. but the information you have to use carefully. Okay. You have to be careful about that. So, um, I mean, we've done the Azonto. Now, still on that same page, we can look at um, inline citations. Okay, inline citation. Yes, inline citation. It's still on the Azonto page. If, what are we looking at? Yes, so we are looking at um, the Azonto article still. Now you see those superscripts. Number one on the first line. Number one on the first line. Okay. Uh -huh. What are we looking at with the so first line? That is called a superscript, and it's one of such things known as inline citations. Okay. So an inline citation is basically telling you that you click it. Actually, okay, let's click it. I want to demo something. Okay. You see, when we clicked it, it just took us to, to the, the reference page. Yes which is at the bottom of every Wikipedia page. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's basically telling you that the citation that is proving that line you just read comes from source A, B, and C, which has been listed in the reference section. Wow, and you can actually click on it to go to the original source as yes, well. Yes, original source as well. This, nice. I think, is coming in from BBC News. Uh -huh. Yes, so if we would click that now, it will take us to the page where this information that landed on Wikipedia um, um, came from. So this is an article by BBC that says Ghana News Dance Craze yes. Azonto. So Azonto. for instance, if your teacher, because some teachers will be like, don't use um, Wikipedia for your research. Yes. Then you can actually cite BBC because as the, the you website it you found from. it from. Okay. So those superscripts known as inline citations, they are not there for decorations. Mm -hmm. Before you copy and paste, be curious. Yeah. This is homework you are doing for marks. Yeah. Click the link, the superscript, just see who said what? Mm -hmm. Yes, find out for yourself. You'll be amazed. And sometimes, you know how on the internet we have uh, one, link, one link leading to another, then another, and you are just, this, there's, there's a whole world or not, you know, information, knowledge that opens up in front of you. So yes, that's So that's, that's the original the, source that they got. That, that is nice. where wow. that came from. Okay. So I mean, you, if we have time, we can demo it again. Just look at the article. Uh -huh. check Go for up, the, up, up. Yes, mm -hmm. check for the superscripts. Mm -hmm. These are known as the inline citations. Okay. Click it. It takes you to the bottom of the page where the references are listed. Then you go to the yes. original source. You just check the original out. That is how you do homework I with can Wikipedia. imagine if you were doing it in an encyclopedia. <laughs> you find the source, they have to go back to the library, library to find exactly. the book. And in like one second, yeah. you actually yeah. have access to your that, source. That's what, um, you know, digitizing or creating digital versions of the things we know now. Yeah. That's, these are some of the advantages. Aren't we lucky? Yes, we are lucky. <laughs> so then... Um, Let's look at red links and blue links. Okay. Maybe we can check out the article of City FM. Okay. Mm -hmm. City FM, Ghana. Yes, Ghana. Um, so there you see a red link. Sometimes uh -huh. people want to know. Um, I want information from Wikipedia, but I keep seeing all these red links. Some mm -hmm. are blue, some are red. What is going on here? Yeah. 
So the red links are basically saying this article leads nowhere. This article no does not exist. Ah, okay. That's what the red links are. So the are things for. that you've highlighted, they've highlighted red. When you click it, it doesn't yeah. take you to an, no. an outside the way the BBC wanted. Yes, or even the red links you see, some of them link to other Wikipedia pages. Hmm. So this, if we should click it now, mm -hmm. Omni Media Limited doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Oh. Yes, it doesn't. Okay. This thing there is just a template telling you Wikipedia does not have an article with the exact name. Okay, okay. So red links lead nowhere. Nowhere. For us, the editors or people who know how to edit Wikipedia, red mm -hmm. links gives you an opportunity to add information. Ah. Because it's telling you that this article does not exist. So, so go you ahead. can now create, you can now create the content it. for that red yes. link. Yes, but blue ah. links are safe. Okay. You can click them and it's actually leading you somewhere. So now if you click on Ghana, for instance, it will tell you all the information you want to know about yes, Ghana. Yes, about Ghana. That's okay. why Ghana is in blue. Okay. But if you click a link that's red, it won't, it won't take yes, you anywhere. it's not taking you anywhere. Okay. I rarely see red links, by the way. I think I most of the time, the blue the links, blue are, links the are, are many. The blue links are many, yes. But um, for certain topics, well. You might see the red link and you're like, it's not going. What's going on? Yes, yes. <laughs> so that's what the red link is it's about here yeah, when you see that on Wikipedia. And then we can also look at um, Sarkodia's Wikipedia page. Let's to, go for it. Yeah, to demo something um, for, for our, our viewers at home. So we are talking about top pages, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you are doing research, of course, if you are not in a hurry, you want to know, first, now you know where it's coming from because the inline citations are there. Yeah. But now, what did the article go through before it got because, here? Yeah. What are some of the things that, you know, when we say read between, between the lines, lines, yes, information that can help me actually do that. So you see the talk link, mm -hmm. which is beside the article link at the top left of mm -hmm. every Wikipedia article. Yeah, so the talk. talk is right next to article on the right hand yes. side. Yes, there. That talk is where people who edited the article discuss everything, the origins, ah. how they put it together, contentions, disagreements. Nice. All and of you that see go everything there. there. You see everything there. So we have Sarkodia's article, for example, if you mm -hmm. scroll um, to the bottom, mm -hmm. at a point in time, well, let's go to the top a bit, his date of birth. Mm -hmm. An editor raised an issue. Yes, date of birth. An editor raised an issue that um, the current date of birth should be removed because it's not backed by any credible source and so on and so forth. Hmm. So other editors will come in and say, well, this and that, blah, blah, blah. People discuss some of these things that should be put out there for everybody to consume. Mm. When you scroll down some more, at a point in time, Wikipedia wanted to get rid of Sarkodia's page because people suspected, some of the editors suspected that somebody who has been editing the article was being paid to do that. Oh, and you're not allowed to get paid to edit? Good question. <laughs> so Wikipedia, if anybody ever comes to you and says you need to pay to have a Wikipedia article, it's a big lie. Ah. Wikipedia is like public service. Hmm. Internet property. Jifa, once you have made your name and you are relevant in what you do and you are notable enough, there's a notability criteria. Mm -hmm. Once you meet it, you it just I won't say it's your right to be there, but all of us around the world looking for information, it is our right to see that you are there because we need to know about Jifa. We need to know what she's doing in this world. We need to know, but of course, it's not always positive. Ah, because, you can have a negative Wikipedia page as well. Oh my God. On your <laughs> Wikipedia page, anything, what the streets will say, if Yawa Pipe. As long as it's a fact, it's they, going it, there. Wow. So, a lot of people who want to be on Wikipedia, that's sometimes I tell them be careful what you wish for. Because so you. A Wikipedia page isn't something that you can do for a PR no, consultant. Like, okay, you are wasting as part your time. of my services, I'm going to create a Wikipedia page for you. No. It doesn't. It's, it's, it's not like that. Well, okay. you, can, you can pay. But at the end of the day, the person will still have to disclose on the top page that so so and so paid me uh. to write this on Wikipedia, and this is what is going to happen. You will succeed in putting whatever it is there. But like I said, there's collaboration when it comes to writing Wikipedia. Somebody else will, can contest and say, wait a minute, but CNN says this and this and this about you. Hmm. That's what we are putting there. And there is nothing the person you paid to put that information there can do. Wow. There is so, so the, the Sarkozy situation, someone came out to say, we think the person who wrote this might have been might paid. Might have been paid. And sometimes there's a problem. 
The person may not have been paid, but the language. The, is everything that, is just perfect about this. There, there, there is, the, Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. So write about people and things objectively. You can't write like you, you know them. Yeah. Sarkodia is the most, uh, what? The most brilliant. Brilliant. You can't best use rapper, such words. Just best say, husband. Yes, <laughs> best husband and so on, father. No. <laughs> That language is meant for his own website. But yeah, Wikipedia, <laughs> being an encyclopedia, this is what you can say. Sir Akodia maybe was a judged, maybe the best celebrity husband by the Ministry of Gender or something. Yeah. These are the kind, the kinds of information that we put there. Hmm. Not ones that you talk as if you know the person from somewhere. It, it, it even goes against the policy known as conflict of interest. Ah. Which, of course, the reader can't care about that. It's yeah. the editors who usually deal with these things. Conflict mm -hmm. of interest. So, um, as far as that is concerned, just know this. You can't pay somebody. You so can't, but... It's not going to make any yes, difference. It doesn't make any difference. The photo that you insist that should be used, if that photo doesn't have the right copy, copyright um, license... It won't. It will be removed. It will be deleted. And that photo just... Won't pass. Yes, won't pass. So if I'm doing a research on, let's say, Sarkodi again, mm -hmm. and I'm curious about his age, let's say one of our footballers, and mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, but this guy grew up with him, and Wikipedia is saying he's 18. Yes. I can go to the talk page and see if people have been going back and forth, like, is it his football age? Is it his yes. real age? And then yes. be like, okay, this is why they came yes. up with, the age yes. they came up with. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The thing is, sometimes when people are discussing things, look, Sarkodie's page, for example, it was surprising to know Sarkodie doesn't even know the person who created the page, hasn't met the person anywhere. But once you, the conversations around that page goes in a certain direction, mm -hmm. then all of these accusations keep coming up. So for the footballers, for example, usually Wikipedia picks their age from reputable sites that profile athletes mm -hmm. and sportsmen. So if the if that site gets it wrong, though, then it means Wikipedia is also getting it wrong. So if the person has gone to change his birth certificates before entering a football academy, Wikipedia can't do anything. Okay. We are not in the business for primary information, mm -hmm. but we were there when he was born. He's not this age, no. Ours is secondary. What else is there? What has been reported? What has been both on TV, radio, news websites? What is being said? One thing we don't usually add is Twitter and Facebook information because yes, it's yeah. user generated. Yeah. So if we come and take your date of birth because you are talking about it on Facebook, hey, today's my birthday, chances are you are lying. True. But we take it as if BBC actually reported that City TV, um, Breakfast Daily host Jifa celebrates her birthday maybe in Grand Star in Dubai or something, at least there's some credibility. There's some credibility we might want but to But this with. talk button, what it does is at least it helps if you have doubts, doubts about something you're reading. Go and see what other okay. people are saying uh, um, about that page. And then still on Sarkodia's page, we also have, um, let's check out the history page. On, I think on the top right hand okay. side of Wikipedia, of Wikipedia articles, there's something called history. History, okay. history pages. So um, view history. Mm -hmm. View history allows you to see all the versions that the article has gone through till now. And mm. the they call something edit summaries. Okay. So let's say if I edit the article, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to state what I changed. Okay. Right? Why is that? So that the viewer will know. Yes. Okay. When the viewer comes there, the viewer will know. Oh, the reader. I mean, I'm thinking TV. The reader. The reader will know yes, that. Yes, will know that, oh, I changed, I, I fixed the typo. Mm -hmm. I did this. I did that. So on the history page, you have all of these things in the background going on there. Ah. It is just to help everybody using the encyclopedia to just get things right. So let's say um, last week I went on the page mm -hmm. and I said Sakodia was born in Kuma. It said Sakodia was born in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. So I put it in my homework that Sakodia was born in Kumasi. And my teacher says, no, he was actually born in Tema. Yeah. Then I come back again and I see that Wikipedia has it as Tema mm -hmm. and not Kumasi. Mm -hmm. That's when I would go to the view history mm -hmm. to see if an, if an editor actually changed, changed it yes. from Kumasi to Such Tema. Yes, such, um, um, so can I say, discussions or disagreements can sometimes be solved with this. Okay. You know, the, you, you may have, you know, articles go through a lot. Yeah. And sometimes when you are quoting an article, you quote what you saw on the Wikipedia page when you arrived. Mm -hmm. For those of us who are experienced, sometimes we, we don't care about what the current page says. We go into the history, and that is the link we are dealing with. So you can... 
You see, sometimes teachers will say don't use Wikipedia because Wikipedia changes. None of the changes an article has gone through disappears. Ah. It's still in the back there somewhere. It's in the history. Yeah. It never goes anywhere. It's in the history log. Hmm. It's in the history log. So if you want to know what Sarkodias... Maybe, like, we've had enough of Sarkodia. <laughs> if you want to know what Ghana's Wikipedia page looked like in maybe 2017, mm -hmm. you can find out. It's still there yeah. in the history log. Nice. Yes. What else do you have for us? Yes, so um, I think to wrap up, I would just say when you go to the bottom of the page, sometimes you have something, sections titled as external links. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've talked about references. Yeah. We've talked about um, the inline citations, that, which takes you to the references. So mm -hmm. we have external links. We have people's social media links and whatnot. These are added things, mm -hmm. footnotes and all, all of that. Mm -hmm. We just add it so that you have more information, more links to click and then visit. Wow. More links to click and visit. So really, starting point for your research, I think homework do or mm -hmm. research or something should be able to start from Wikipedia and do it the right way. Mm. Now that people have the background to what goes in and out of it. Wikipedia. Yeah. Now, let me ask this. Feel free. Are you able to see the people who contributed to the article, the editors themselves? Mm -hmm. Let's say my teacher is not satisfied with the source, mm -hmm. but they just want to know the caliber of people who actually put this piece yes. together on Wikipedia. Are you able to see that? You are. The thing is, when I started editing Wikipedia, I used my name, Sandy mm -hmm. Tay. Then at a point in time, people were just contacting me, you know, politicians <laughs> and whatnot. And can you change this for us? Can you do this? So I just got fed up and I changed my username to something else so mm -hmm. that nobody would track it back to, back to me. Okay. So for security reasons, privacy as well, mm -hmm. people change. And it, it's not just for privacy, sometimes just to be naughty. Yeah. Because pe <laughs> people are there doing all sorts of things, fighting all sorts of wars, on there mm -hmm. to suit their agenda so they will never use their real name okay. so where the person is using their real name you can't trace it to the person mm -hmm. but where the person is not then you won't be you, you won't know because a lot of people are, are just using the anonymous mm -hmm. to protect themselves and whatnot okay. so we, that's the situation right now you can't really determine who is using a fake name or a correct name but we do have something i mean if i was logged in into the the slides okay. being shown i could have demonstrated this as mm -hmm. from an editor's perspective, perspective. You are able to have something known as um, just a, your own Wikipedia, not your Wikipedia article page, but your user page. Mm -hmm. Just like how we have Facebook profiles and Twitter pages and whatnot, you can have your own page where you can talk about yourself. Like, I'm Sandista, I work at City, I have been editing Wikipedia since 2012. Mm -hmm. If you need to contact me, this is my email. You can actually have such a page which puts uh -huh. you in the front that I am the editor of this article. You can contact me if you anything. Yes. But it's optional for the editor to, it's to do It's optional. Okay. It's optional. Okay. I think they put all these checks there so that you can check some of these things for yourself and not necessarily put emphasis on, the, <laughs> on, yeah, putting an R where it doesn't belong. Emphasis on, <laughs> emphasis on the editors. It's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> emphasis on the editors. Okay. Yes. Now, the next thing is, let's wrap up briefly to uh. a summary. So if you're doing research on Wikipedia, mm. first thing, you check the title. Yes. If you need more information, well, the, the right-hand side of the page will tell you a brief summary of everything. So if yeah. you need to study 10 African leaders, for example, you just need a quick one-minute brief, yeah, just info go box. to the info box, and then you find everything yes. you need. Then on the left side, you have your table of contents. Yes, so those you, are hot links, which you click, it just jumps, and mm -hmm. it takes so you So if you don't care about his education, his early life, yeah, all just that, you just click want it and jump and go his, somewhere. you know, scandal in his, in his <laughs> marriage, yeah. you just skip <laughs> and click on it, and it takes yes. you to the where bottom. Where you want to go. Um, if you want to go to the, um, the place where the actual source came from, you click uh -huh. on the reference, and it will take you to the bottom of the page, of the page. That's and the then you will go listed. to the original yes. place, the original yes. page. Yeah. If you see a red link, it means it's not leading you anywhere, don't waste so your time with it. don't bother. Yeah. If you are doubting anything you're seeing on Wikipedia, you can just click on the talk button, uh -huh. and then you'll be able to see the conversations that have, have gone on have around, gone on that, around topic. that topic. And then if, if, you are, if you're curious about changes that may have taken place the since the last log. time you looked at the, yeah. the page. You just go to the history log, mm -hmm. and then you, you'll find it there. Am I and forgetting something? Yes. yes, and then the templates. Yes, the templates. Take 
notice of the messages that have been left there for you to know that this article is probably still under development, it's still in progress, work in progress, or there's something wrong with it. We have inline citations, uh, no, citation needed, telling you that inline citations are missing yeah. from this fact. So you can whatever. get that reference point yes. the way you would be able to yes. do it. Okay. Yes, all of that. Thank you, Sandy. I've learned so much about Wikipedia, actually, in what, uh -huh. 30 minutes. Doing your research. I am, I am happy. That, that, was, that was the whole point. Minutes. For people to understand this piece of technology they keep consuming, yeah. what really it's about. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And of course, Sandy is the host of Tech and Social Media Trends on the City Breakfast Show. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The City Tube. For exclusive breakfast daily content and other City TV programs. Like, comment and share with your friends.